In Kamioka Town, Hida City, Gifu, Japan, a vast space has been excavated 600 meters underground. Here, the Hyper Kamiokande Observatory will be installed. It is a cutting-edge observatory designed to explore the mysteries of the universe and elementary particles. How was the matter that makes up our bodies and the universe created? What is the true nature of elementary particles? Through the observation of neutrinos and other particles, Hyper Kamiokande will tackle these fundamental questions. This observatory is the third in the series, following the first Kamiokande and the second Super Kamiokande. It has a massive water tank, about eight times the effective mass of Super Kamiokande, lined with ultra-sensitive photosensors that have twice the performance of those used before. These photosensors detect the light produced when neutrinos collide with the water. The observatory will be installed 600 meters underground in a massive cavern measuring 69 meters across and 94 meters high. It is one of the largest man-made spaces ever excavated underground and its excavation was truly an unprecedented challenge. From the mountainside, a two kilometer long access tunnel was excavated. Beyond it, about one kilometer long approach tunnels were driven. At the end of these tunnels, the main cavern was excavated. To determine the construction site and excavation plan, geological surveys were conducted over many years. In the fiscal year 2020, detailed geological surveys were conducted through 730 meters of drilling and the excavation of new survey tunnels. At the construction site lies the Hida Nice, known as one of the hardest rocks in Japan. The properties of the rock and the ground pressure have a major impact on the cavern's stability. Based on the survey results, the cavern's shape and reinforcement methods were analyzed. Meanwhile, on the surface, preparations around the tunnel entrance took place. New utility poles were installed and roads relocated. Thanks to the understanding and cooperation of the local community, preparations moved forward steadily. In May 2021, the excavation of the tunnels leading to the observatory began. By using special techniques, progress reached about 14 meters per day, which was two to three times faster than usual. The two kilometer access tunnel was completed in just nine months. Beyond the access tunnel, approach tunnels were excavated leading to the upper and lower levels of the main cavern. In June 2022, the approach tunnels reached the center of the future dome section. They were then connected to a geological survey tunnel that was excavated in 2020. A circular tunnel was excavated around the observatory. Also, a vertical shaft was excavated, which played a key role in accelerating the excavation of the main cavern. This vertical shaft is a pit over 60 meters deep. By removing the excavated rock through this shaft, the efficiency of the work is greatly improved. The circular tunnel forms a 445 meter loop around the main cavern and will house the equipment needed for the experiments. 
Next to the main cavern, a 16 meter wide, 17 meter high, and 101 meter deep space was excavated. This space, with a volume about half that of the Super Kamiokande tank, will house a system that produces 260,000 tons of ultra-pure water for the detector. In November 2022, excavation began on the dome section, the most challenging part of the entire cavern project. First, a spiral tunnel was excavated to the center of the ceiling. The excavation then expanded outward from this point, gradually forming concentric rings. The dome section, which is 69 meters in diameter and 21 meters high, supports the enormous weight of the mountain above with its three-dimensional arch structure. It is the key to the cavern's structural stability. To prevent the ceiling rock from collapsing, Stability is ensured with shotcrete and anchors. The space is then expanded step by step. The anchors are installed in the following manner. First, holes up to 22 meters deep are drilled into the shotcreted wall. Then, anchors made of twisted steel wires are inserted and fixed into the bedrock at the deepest point. By pulling each anchor with a force of up to 60 tons, the bedrock is stabilized to prevent collapse. In this way, about 600 anchors were installed in the dome ceiling. In addition, information from excavation and daily measurements was used to check the bedrock's condition. This allowed us to optimize the design and construction methods while proceeding with great care. In October 2023, excavation of the dome section was completed. Next, the barrel section, 69 meters in diameter, will be excavated down to a depth of 73 meters. Blasted rock is brought down through the central vertical shaft to the bottom of the barrel section. From there, dump trucks haul it out through the approach tunnel. The excavated walls were covered with shotcrete and then secured with rock bolts and anchors. The barrel section was divided into 19 layers and carefully excavated one at a time. During the excavation of the barrel section, monitoring instruments were used to constantly check the bedrock. The design was updated as needed, based on its condition. During excavation, additional reinforcement work was sometimes required. With stability as the top priority, the team responded quickly and flexibly, carrying out each step of the process with great care.
At the end of June 2025, as excavation neared completion, a commemorative tour was held for invited guests. They celebrated this major milestone together, reflecting on the years of hard work. In separate tours for the media and the public, many expressed amazement at the sheer scale of the cavern. In July 2025, the excavation of the Hyper Kamiokande main cavern was completed. Overcoming many challenges, the team has completed one of the world's largest underground spaces, 330,000 cubic meters, making an unprecedented challenge a reality. After the cavern is completed, the stainless steel tank, supported by rock and reinforced concrete, will be finished. Then, photosensors and electronic circuits will be installed. Outside the tank, the ultra-pure water production system will be set up. Finally, the tank will be filled with ultra-pure water and observation will begin. Hyper Kamiokande will begin observation in 2028. Preparations are steadily progressing across all areas toward that day.